got lots of fiddlers in New England, good ones. We've got them that plays the French style, and from Scotland, and Ireland, and of course, the Yankees. Of course it sounds different from the rest of the country, but that's the way New England fiddles. Sundays, he'd only take it out Sunday. And before dinner, he'd take the fiddle and he'd play a few tunes. And then he'd put it on the table. And then he'd take his paper and he'd start reading, see? One Sunday, he did the same thing again. He'd play and put his, put his fiddle on the table like that, you know? And I asked him if I could play his fiddle. Yeah, he said, go ahead. And he was reading away. And when I played that, that tune, he brings his paper down and looks. Well, I guess you begin to know how to play fiddle. He said, I guess, well, he said, you can play the fiddle any time you want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, boy, I tell you, I was a happy boy. And I, I used to play nights. <laughs> and every time I'd have a chance, you know, I'd really play that thing. Like I say, I like to do that at night by myself. That's when it sounds good to me, you know. come knock on the door, you know, they wanted a fiddler because they was having a party. I'd get up and I'd go and I'd play five, six o'clock in the morning. I worked on the road, you know, uh, the next day and the boss, when he knew I'd played all night, he, he was over the dance too, so he knew. <laughs> He'd tell me to go in a little barn and take a little nap. <laughs> My brother had the violin, and I was only five, six years old. And I took a few lessons when I was 14, but that time I got so I could play fairly well, so I played the dead larkin. Quite a lot for contra dancers, learned all the old ones I could learn that way. When I was 17, I took some more lessons. And I've been playing for dances ever since. <laughs> 